I'm so freaking excited that our new toilet bowl is here. Uh, the Dometic 320. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to throw it in and show the install. And I can't wait to try it out. It's elongated like a normal household toilet bowl. It's got a lip all the way around it with holes where that water flow goes all the way around it, not just a little 45 degree angle at the back. Hopefully, uh, it won't be as nasty as the, as the original. So, here it is. Woo. That's a nice pooper. Oh, we're gonna throw it in, it's gonna look good. Let's get it started. So on this version, the toilet that comes with the Solitude, I'm not sure the number, but if you can tell, it's got this little piece right here. This piece. And it just flows like that, and then the water kind of shoots out like a, I don't know, like a 45 degree angle. And then it eventually goes around the bowl, makes its way eventually, there's like a little lip. Alright, first we'll pop these covers off, both sides. Then we'll take a wrench, I just brought an adjustable because I didn't know what size I needed. We'll throw it on there and we'll remove those bolts. So now that we got both of these nuts taken off, one on each side of the toilet, I have some rags tucked up under here we're gonna get this water line on the back right here disconnect it and we'll see how much water comes out all right let's get this water line this water line right here yep got a little bit of drippage i got my rag covering it it's best to have some type of very good absorbent type of rag like these these are some uh, microfibers that i use to clean the vehicles all right, so we're completely off. Okay, it's very easy. It wobbles super easy. So just so you guys know, this is simple. Very light, lifting it right up, no problem. All right, so the main difference is, see how much more elongated that one is compared to that one? This is the old one. This one is actually a Thetford. I don't know if we can zoom in on that. This one's actually a Thetford brand. So it's not even a Dometic, so. And this one is a hard seat, it's wood. Doesn't have all this crap like right here that cuts in like that. None of that, so. In between the two on the water line is the Thetford, the original one that was installed on the RV, uh, the water line is, is right down the middle. The connection is right in the middle of the toilet. On this Dometic 320, the connection for the water line is kind of offset to the left a little bit. So hopefully that won't be an issue. Have any, any of you guys installed this toilet or a toilet in general? Uh, did it go this easy? Let me know your experience. You got any good stories about, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can only imagine what could go wrong installing a toilet and then trying it out and God knows what happens. So let me hear some stories down in the comments. I'd love to see some. You better be getting that toilet installed. It better be ready before I ha come home. <laughs> you can go back to work. Easy peasy. Here's what we're looking like right now, guys and girls. What am I talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're looking like right now. Uh, we cleaned up the area right here. I need to move this. I'm, God dang, dude. I'm breathing hard. You know, I see all these all, <laughs> I see all these full-time RVers that are working out, are getting in fitness and getting into shape and freaking jazzercising and crap. And I'm over here, I can't carry a toilet up two steps and, and down my hallway without feeling like John Candy, man. Dude, all right. So anyways, back to your regularly scheduled program. We clean this up right here. I'm gonna lift this toilet seat. Uh, it should line up correctly with those two little studs that are still right there, those two studs. And then uh, in theory, we should just bolt it down, good to go, and then we'll figure out that water line. So I, I have to remove the rubber piece that's on that hole right now because this one already has one installed as you can see right here. Let's go ahead and cut this as high as we can because we're not going to reuse this. Right? 
All right, so what I'm doing right now is I took the toilet back off, as you can tell. I trimmed the line a little bit. I'm gonna put on this uh, valve so I can turn the water on the toilet on and off if there were to be an issue and I want to uh, I want to water on the rest of the rig but I wanted to turn water off at the toilet this will allow me to do that so I'm going to crimp on these shark bite fasteners using the tool that I bought um, from the leak that I had a couple months ago here in the in the uh, bathroom if you remember that so we're going to go ahead and do that and then once I get the valve on I'm going to install the I don't know where the hell I put it I have a 90 degree uh, brass fitting that go that's gonna go on next I'm gonna crimp that on and then that'll go on the back of the toilet and then uh, we shall be good all right all right that's what I ended up going with when you put your uh, if you do a shutoff valve on yours make sure that when you install it that you make sure that when it's on it goes up and down not down where it hits the floor so you're actually defeating the purpose so make sure you guys do that correctly all right ladies and gentlemen there she is there's the porcelain well half porcelain throne in all her glory elongated bowl wooden lid nice i need to adjust that lid or i need to find out if i can adjust that lid my only problem is this is a clean bowl so don't get grossed out nothing's been done in here when i push the foot pedal i feel like there should be a lot more water coming right here than what's coming out. I don't, uh, for what we paid for it and how good Dometic's products supposedly are, I feel like that should be a lot more water. I even bumped, bumped up my PSI, my water pressure on the rig to 50, 51 PSI. And uh, it's still not where I think, where I think, where I think, that's not even a word, dude. Oh my gosh. Where I think it should be. Um, maybe it's just me. If you have a Dometic, specifically a Dometic 320, let me know in the comments if this is an issue that you have. This is a common issue. If you've heard of it, let me know because I really would like to find out if it's something that I'm doing wrong, if it's a water pressure issue. I checked the screen to see if it was dirty and the water pump thing, whatever that is on the back of the, uh, on the, back of the toilet itself, nothing. So let me know. Also, here's the setup that we did, or well, that I did for the back. I don't know if you can tell, but um, back there, so I did a uh valve shut off valve and then above that i did a uh 90 degree brass fitting so hopefully that'll last a little longer and i won't have any um leaks any cracks or anything like that thanks for watching guys it's been another fun video and i really appreciate all you guys watching